Howdy. Um, I think this is the first clip I'm making of this week since the AC uh, footage. It's Monday morning right now, June 19th, around, what is it, noon? Yeah, 12.30, I've been working all morning, basically. Um, just doing reporting, like I always do that Monday morning, send it out to my clients. Bomb ass week for the marketing campaigns. Ran some Father's Day sales, killing it. So I just got a package, and I wanna open this up and show you, because it's marketing related. All right, so basically, if you follow my channel, obviously you know I work with this company, Fantasy Jocks. What we wanted to do is they sell, obviously they sell the fantasy football equipment, they sell the draft kits that if you're doing a live draft, you know, you use them to put the player stickers on. And what they started offering, or they've been offering, is bulk orders of them. So you can order them in quantities of 20, 50, 75, 100. The reason for that is for restaurants and bars to offer that as like a service. Like if, I'm sure you've seen commercials or something online of like, where people go to like Buffalo Wild Wings or Hooters or like they even go to like Vegas hotels and have their fantasy football drafts there. So what I suggested to the owner, him make a really simple 30, 60 second video ad that we can use on Facebook. Literally him just showing the draft board, hitting really quick points to the bars and owners of what, what it is, how simple it is to set up and what kind of revenue it could bring in for you know, your restaurant, right? It's, it's just simple to the point. If you can get the message across clearly and tell them what kind of value prop is in for them because these are cheap when you order them bulk so if you hit them right away like hey you just have to invest this amount of money and imagine how much you could bring in when you bring in a league of 10 or 12 dudes how much they're going to order at your restaurant right so the quick video ad he was like honestly i don't really have the time or the wherewithal to do that right now what if i send you a couple of the products and you create the video ad. I'm like, hell yeah, it's awesome. I like having a creative side and I like having kind of control over what's getting out there. Um, I'm able to put my creative side, I guess, to use here. And that's what I'm gonna do. So basically I'm gonna be filming like a 30 to 60 second commercial or like video ad that we're gonna be running on Facebook to restaurant bar owners. You know, you can scroll down your feed and see a bunch of images like the carousel images where it's someone trying to sell you stuff, but the best ads right now are these video ads that are simple, quick to the point, and that like authenticity. If it's just me kind of promoting the product, like in my house, you know, I'm just walking through and I'm like, oh wow, boom, and I show you like the wall where like a fantasy board is, is posted up or something, like look how easy it is to set up, really cheap, really simple, and boom, you bring in a million extra customers, something like that. So I'm just like kind of brainstorming off the top of my head. I'm gonna film that sometime this week, I think. So that was cool, I just wanna show you that because that's something like creatively I'm, I'm gonna be working on this week and I'm excited to kind of do it because it's my first time creating a real video ad to run. Morning y'all, it's June 21st. It's the first day of summer, but it's also exactly three months after my last day of working. So I've been out of full-time employment for three months. The theme of this episode, what I wanted to talk about was goals. I'm not here like preach to you about goals, but when I left my job, I wrote down goals that I wanted to hit, like real tangible goals within the first three months of doing so. And it worked out well because summer was exactly three months away and now it's three months from when I started. And I'm kind of pissed at myself because I wrote down on a piece of paper, like goals, and I don't know where I put the piece of paper, but I remember most of what I wrote down. So I wanted to talk about the goals that I set for myself, did I hit them, and then I'm also in the process of writing down goals for my next three months. Now, I, I set up goals for my marketing, like my media company, as well as for this, for, for YouTube, the whole big dog's gotta eat facet of things, as well as personal goals. So what I, what I know I wrote down for the marketing side of things, for BDGE Media, my marketing company, I wanted to have at least run test campaigns for one to three clients, and I wanted to convert at least one of them into a paying client on a monthly basis, and I did that, so I hit that goal. I wanted to take it very slow, I wanted to make sure I got my foot wet, I wanted to make sure I was able to kind of mess around with, with different opportunities, and then eventually convert one or some of the test clients into paying clients, and I was able to do that. I know it's a very small step, but it was one of the goals that I had in the beginning because like I said, I'm starting for, I was starting from nothing. That was for the marketing portion of things. There was no revenue, no money involved. I didn't say, hey, I wanna be making my salary by three months into, into this. It was simply just getting a client and having that done. For YouTube, I said by the start of summer, I wanted to have a thousand subscribers. And it worked out because the start of summer was exactly three months from when I started. And if we look at YouTube right now, real time, I have, 1,119 subscribers. Boom, we hit that goal as well. I wanted to have a thousand, 
for over 1100. I knew it would be a very slow growing process when it comes to that. Growing organically through social media um, platforms are really hard to do unless you're a really hot girl and you just show your ass in every picture. That's obviously not what I do on YouTube, but it's really cool to be slowly building a platform and building a subscriber base and, and kind of an audience that I could do this stuff with, you know? So that was my goal, a thousand subscribers by the start of summer, we hit that. Secondly, for the big dogs gotta eat, I wanted to have some sort of product, some sort of apparel product in hand and being sold. So at the time, I had no idea what I was gonna sell. I had a lot of different ideas in my head. I even, I, I reached out to multiple manufacturers about anything from, from hats to t-shirts to sweatshirts to even a pre-workout supplement I was thinking about, but you have to invest a ton of money in order to do that. If you've been following my channel, obviously, you know, these are in production right now. I put the order through about three weeks ago and the estimated time of delivery is June 28th. So it's exactly a week from today, which by the time you're watching this video will be like four or five days out. So technically, you know, I don't have the product yet. I'm not selling it yet, but we're basically at the goal. So, I, you know, I give that like an 8.10 done. And I'll be honest with you, I can't remember what I wrote down for like personal goals. There was definitely stuff to do with fitness. If I had to guess, it would just be maintain my current level of physique anywhere from like 160 to 165 pounds. I weighed in this morning at like 160, so we're still there. I'm not, I'm not fat yet. My body fat is pretty lean. I'm, I'd probably say I'm at like, yeah. I think it's safe to say 10, 12% body fat. Cool with that. On a more personal level, I, I don't remember what else I like wrote down besides like real typical shit, like keep relationships with family, friends, things like that. But those are my goals, you know, and, and it's important to have those just you know, not to just say you have goals, but they kind of keep you accountable and they, they're like your North Star, right? Like whenever you're you're doing something, you're doing something you don't want to do, you're kind of looking back and you're like, why am I doing this? It helps you look at the bigger picture. Like this is why I'm doing this. The reason I put out content, you know, two, three, four, five times a week sometimes on YouTube is so that I can hit that subscriber number, right? And eventually build a platform and kind of do what I want based on that. So let's talk about my goals for three months down the road. June 21st right now by September 21st. And now I'm putting it on camera so everything is held accountable. I wrote down a few things here and this is probably not everything I wanted to write down, but I wanna get these out and just talk about it before. Cause today's actually the 10,000 calorie challenge. 8.30 and we're probably gonna start at like 10 a.m. or something. So I wanna get this out and make sure like I'm feeling like decent right now and I know I'm not gonna be feeling anywhere near okay for the next like two days. So I wanna get this done now. So uh, on the marketing front, on the BDGE media, my goals again are not revenue based, they're not money based, they are to continue slowly growing. So what I wanna do is keep the existing paying clients that I have right now. I wanna maintain those relationships, I wanna keep working with them. My second objective would be to add at least one more paying client. And I'd like that to be either in the fitness or the e-commerce niche. Really what I'm trying to do is build a solid client base. I'm not trying to take on, you know, it's, it's quality over quantity. If I can get just a few great to work with clients that pay good money that I, you know, that I'm happy working with and that I enjoy doing work for, that would be an ultimate goal for me. I wanna add one more in the next three months. That way I'll have a steady, you know, a steady income and a steady client list that I'm happy working with. Those are my two marketing goals, that's it. So a lot more of my goals, as it hits the summer, this is this is gonna be the biggest time of year for, for my channel to grow because that's, you know, fantasy football wise, that's when I get a lot of attraction that this is, this is when I'll get a ton of engagement, right? So I have a lot of goals for the big dogs gotta eat, the brand itself. And the big dog gotta eat is more, so you have the big BDGE Media, which is just marketing, which is for financial purposes, and then you have big dogs gotta eat, which is more of like a, a personal thing, a personal brand, I guess you could say, a lifestyle brand. My goal's there. I wanna, by the time September 21st rolls around, I wanna have between 3,000 and 5,000 subscribers on the channel. I know that's really, really quick growth for three months, but I think it's, I think it's possible. Also, I've been good so far. This will be week 14, I think. I wanna continue getting out the vlog every single Saturday. I haven't missed an upload yet and I don't wanna miss a single vlog upload every single Saturday. Won't miss it for the next three months. No exceptions. I don't care if I'm traveling on vacay. Bah, we're hitting it every single Saturday. Gotta stay committed, baby. Third, like I said, I have the hats coming in. I wanna sell out of my first order of hats. I don't have a lot of hats. I'll be completely transparent with you. I ordered four different colors, quantity of 12 in each color. I, I have no idea. I'm assuming the first 
stock is going to be a lot of family and friends. At the same time, I have no idea how many people that actually follow my channel want to buy the hats. So this could either sell out really quickly like that, and I'm going to be like, shit, I wish I got more, or I might be left with inventory for for the next couple months, right? But my goal is to sell out of these hats for sure and then restock on them. And I'll go by how quickly they sell out is probably a good teller of the quantity of my next restock. That would be a goal. And then my second goal in terms of the apparel, I wanna be able to offer one more product in my store. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, if it's gonna be clothing, if it's gonna be, could be something really random. It could be bandanas, it could be a coffee mug with the symbol, it could be a shirt. I don't really know, but I wanna have at least one more product in the store available for purchase for people. And speaking of, I wanna have, um, I touched on this a few weeks ago and I'm still working on it. I'll be working on it until it releases in August. I'm working on like an e-magazine, kind of like a, a fantasy football draft guide. All the content I'm putting out, I'll be putting out probably like 100 videos this summer on fantasy football and I wanna condense all of like the main topics, my main points into an e-magazine that you can purchase for a really low price, like leading right up to your drafts. Cause a lot of the companies like ESPN, CBS, all these fuckers that run their fantasy football sites, they'll release their fantasy football magazine like next week. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out. That leaves two months of shit to happen. Like whether it's injuries, roster changes, all these different things that happen. And by the time your actual draft comes around like late August, or early September, those magazines are obsolete. So I wanna be able to give you like the most up-to-date magazine out there in the market. So I'm gonna be working hard on that. That's gonna be released. That's a goal of mine. I've obviously never made a, an e-mag magazine before, um, but that'll be fun. And I'm in the process of working on that now. So those are my goals for Big Dogs Gotta Eat. The brand, 3,000 to 5,000 subscribers, sell out of the hats and restock, have at least one more product for the store, finish the e-magazine and have that up for purchase. And then on a personal level, I wanna travel. I haven't traveled since I think I went I traveled since then. I went to Boston in like February, but I also live like five, four hours from Boston. I think I'm gonna be going to Chicago and California in August. So Chicago, I've never been to. California, I have, but I have a good friend out there that I want to stay with for about a week. So just, you know, not travel in the sense of like going international into countries I've never been before because that's expensive, very time consuming. That's a personal goal. And fitness wise, same, the same thing as always, stay in shape. You know, I'm hitting the gym five, six times a week as always. Stay lean. My fitness goals are, I don't really, I really never have fitness goals like, I don't have a number, a lot of people put a number on things, whether it's like a weight, like a bench press weight or, or a physical weight or you know some kind of number they're trying to get to. I don't, I just wanna be able to kind of enjoy fitness, stay healthy, stay lean. That's probably my main concern is just staying, staying lean and staying fit like all year round. So I guess just kind of maintain what I got going on right now on my bodies. But yeah, those are my goals. I laid them out to you, so it's on camera. Um, I'm held accountable, obviously, now, so I wanna hit those goals. And the quicker you hit them, you know, the higher you can go with your goals. If, say, next week I, I hop on another client, you know, if I, if I sign another client, then, then I've already hit that goal for marketing and it's time to it's kind of, time to push the goals. And you gotta be able to push yourself. And setting goals for like anything is, is, is a good thing. You know, it gives you like a benchmark. When you start going towards your goals and you see progress, that's the biggest, the biggest, biggest, biggest key to moving forward is seeing physical progress or seeing some kind of tangible progress that you could be like, wow, that's awesome. This is all the hard work I put into it. This is what's coming out of it. So me seeing the subscribers jump up is awesome to see. You know, I put out, say I put out a new video and then by the next day I have like 35 new subscribers. I'm like, oh, awesome. That was a good video. Same thing with like weight. If, if you're someone who's overweight and you're losing weight, right? You dropped, you dropped 10 pounds. Like you see a physical change and that motivates you to keep you going, right? That, that's what, that's what people need. And that's why when you have a goal and you're working towards something, those those changes and those and those goals that you're those little goals that you're hitting along the way is what gets you fueled up and what, what keeps you going so these little steps that i have for myself along the way will eventually lead to big big steps if each quarter i'm saying hey i want to sign one more paid client one more paid client one more paid client yeah there's small steps in the in, in the short term but in a year, in a year and a half from now, I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna be like, wow, look at all this progress I made. I now have five, six paying clients. Same thing with the subscribers. Like, wow, if I grow like 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 subscribers each time, I'm gonna look back and be like, holy shit, I have a subscriber base of 10,000 people. This is fucking insane, right? So those are the things you gotta, you gotta think about, man. It's little steps that when you, when you 
stay consistent and you stay dedicated to something and you and you reach towards a, a goal a physical tangible tangible goal you just you realize how far you've come when you stay consistent with something over a long period of time that's that that's my spiel on goals that's my spiel on on what i you know what i see myself and what i see for the future in the immediate future at least i'm not i don't really like doing the whole like two year five year goals kind of thing because i've noticed as i grow as a person this changes on like a monthly basis goals that i set for myself or you know the vision that i have for future or different opportunities always change because I'll be doing something and then something else will come out of nowhere like a new opportunity will present itself and then all of a sudden my focus will shift so two years five years down the road is way too far if you asked me three years ago if I'd be doing this right now I would have said you're fucking insane you know and that that's the best part about life man you just got to enjoy the ride and and do you but now it is time to officially start the 10,000 calorie challenge. I got me a dozen donuts from Dunkin'. So we got two. Two large fries. Oh, these smells good, man. We went big at J Mike's. We got the Gigantor club. He got a club, I got Italian, but we split it half and half. <sighs> We're hurt, dog. Holy shit, bull. Large blizzard, Reese's, Cookie dough. <laughs> it's a day after the challenge. I feel like absolute garbage. For the DEA, federal agents mad because I'm flagrant. Last couple clips is that 10,000 calorie challenge. If you want to see the full video of that, it's on my channel. Well, if you're watching it Saturday, it's on Sunday. So it's on there June 25th. Go check that out. Fun ass video to make. It's a little long, but definitely worth it in my opinion to go watch it. Also, if you're looking for a good summer playlist, go check me out on Spotify. Go follow my Darty Marg Season playlist. You can just type in my name, Nick Ercolano, N I C K E R C O L A N O. You should be able to find me, and then all my playlists are public, so you can go follow them. So yes, yesterday I ate 10,000 calories. Today I feel like, I actually don't feel as bad as I thought I would feel, to be honest with you. If I didn't have that Dairy Queen blizzard at the end of the night, I would have felt fantastic today. But it's about four o'clock, I haven't touched food yet. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm gonna try to burn off 10,000 calories. A lot of food in me and a lot of energy. Get out of the road, bruh. Yesterday, basically, I didn't do any work because we were filming the video all day. It was an all-day thing. So today, whoa, who that? Um, today, I had a busy morning catching up on editing, marketing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that just, like, took my whole morning and afternoon. Like I said, it's 4 o'clock and a workout. And I think that might take the video to its end if you enjoyed the video please give it that thumbs up as always subscribe to the channel if you're new every single week every saturday these vlogs drop for the business i'll be throwing out fantasy football and other random videos throughout the week so definitely follow along next episode i got a good surprise for y'all well, it's not good for me but you guys will find it entertaining it might be a video on its own by itself <sighs> all right peace out big dogs enjoy your weekends